All new tonight, 4,000 miles. That is how far one man has traveled to get right here to the upstate. And he has another few hundred more miles to go. His name is George Troop, and he started his trek walking across America in Washington State. And he'll end hopefully sometime this winter in Washington, D.C. Fox Carolina's Dana Walker walked a Greenville block with Troop, and she tells us why he's walking. Two sets of tires, seven pairs of shoes, three sandals, and countless blisters. Oregon was my blister state, and that almost, I mean, blisters was one of many things that almost broke me, because at the time I was wanting to get 20 miles a day, 20 miles a day, and I got to the point where I was overwhelming myself so much that I wasn't even able to walk from, you know, one side of the house to the other. That was near the beginning of George Troop's trek. Now he says he's walked through 11 states. It's about 99% mental. It's true that I need arms and legs to walk. Other than that, though, I have to remain focused and committed and devoted to my goal. He says he wasn't planning on such an adventure, but since his mom died of cancer when he was nine, she was only 33, he knew when he was 33, he needed to do something. I grew up learning that most cancers are preventable. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Therefore, I'm walking to inspire people to live healthier lifestyles. Healthier lifestyles help to prevent not only cancer, but heart disease, diabetes, and a number of other chronic diseases. He used to work in high-risk security management, but has stepped out of his comfort zone and into new towns and cultures for the last three years. Troop relies on the kindness of strangers. They've invited him out for meals and into their homes to stay. Not everybody gets to... Uh... Uh, host someone who's walking across the country. But Daniel McCord of Greenville has twice through the website couch surfing. McCord saw Troop's story on the travel community website and asked if he could not only host the walker but document his upstate journey. Um, people see his sign, see his card as he walks on the street and they start asking questions so I get to be kind of a fly on the wall for that. People like McCord have arranged get togethers and created an avenue for Troop to meet people and get to know a local community. Troop speaks to kids in schools. These pictures show him at Powders middle encouraging an active lifestyle you don't necessarily have to just jump off the sofa and go run a marathon or go compete in an Ironman no it's get up go out and take a simple walk he hopes to inspire the passers-by and to folks who stop to ask him why he says he's walking to show that in any capacity enough steps lead to a goal in what a great message there. Well, Troop will leave Greenville tomorrow with a group walking with him as McCord films it all. He'll likely be in the upstate for another few days as he makes his way through Charlotte and then eventually to the capital, Washington, D.C.